Hello and welcome back to the channel and um, today it's another product review and today it is going to be the Keto Keto Snack Bar Hello welcome back my name is Gavin and today is a product review of the Keto Keto Snack Bars um, this is a box of 24 which contains all the flavours available, mixed variety. So no grain, no sugar, no soya, 100% vegan and good fats. All ideal for the keto diet. This is specifically made for the keto diet which um, there's not a lot available in the UK to be honest, especially UK produced anyway. So um, I'm going to get straight into these and let's have a closer look. So here we have the Keto Keto snack bar, uh, a full mix box which contains 24 bars. Um, it's currently priced at 39.99 for the box of 24, which works out at £1.66 a bar. Um, but I will leave a link below. Um, like I normally say, um, I'm not associated with them at all. Um, I don't get commission or anything. I just want to show people what there is available in the UK for people on a keto diet. So let's have a look at the bars, shall we? Got a lemon and poppy seed flavour. Coconut and cashew. Cocoa hazelnut. Cherry bay quail. And banana bread flavour. And so we can see. So as you can see there's five flavours, um, you get five of the chocolate hazelnut, you get five of the cherry bakewell, you get five of the coconut cashew, five of the banana bread and four of the lemon and poppy seeds. So 24 in total in that box. And um, the size of these bars is quite a bit bigger than what you get most keto bars so we get a decent sized bar there each bar is 50 grams so quite a chunky bar um, so we get a bit more value out of this one um, as well as these bars there is um, like a like a cheesy puff sort of snack that's available as well so I'm just going to pick one flavor today and I'll just start with the banana bread So we'll tie this one, put these ones back in the box. So we're going to do the banana bread flavour today. Let's have a look around the packaging. Right, fill up on fat on purpose, low sugar. Contains only natural occurring sugars. 3 grams of net carbs, 24 grams of fat, that is healthy fat for the keto diet, and 1.2 grams of sugars per bar, which isn't bad because like I say it is a it, it is quite a chunky bar this one. There's 50 grams. Um, shelf life uh, March 23. So that's a good five or six months on there, which isn't too bad. Uh, baked in the UK, which there isn't many that are actually made in the UK, so it's good to see that. And the writing is a bit small on this one, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that. 
In fact, I'm going to have to put my glasses on to read that. It is quite small. So the ingredients on ingredients on this is quite small and hard to read. Even I've had to put my glasses on. I don't wear them very often. So it's banana bread flavor keto biscuit bar with sweeteners. And the ingredients are ground almonds. The sweeteners are xylitol and urethritol, coconut oil, ground cashew nuts, sunflower seeds, ground flax seed, cocoa butter, spices, arrowroot powder, uh, the natural flavorings, natural flavorings, stabilizer, which is xanthan gum, you got salt, and that is it. Um, yeah, there's not a lot in there really. Um, there's no issues, definitely keto and diabetic friendly. The nutritional information, which is also really small. They maybe need to make this a little bit bigger for people to read. However, I'm doing this to help, help out as much as possible. Per 50 gram, this is per bar. Right, salt is 0, 0 0.2 grams, which is nearly just a trace of, sh of salt. Uh, protein, 6.1 grams, so there's plenty of protein in this. There's 2.2 grams of something, which I can't see. Fibre, 2.2 grams of fibre. Carbs, there's 13 grams of carbs, of which sugars, 1.2 grams of carbs, of which polyols is 10 grams, which is okay. And that is that is the healthy fats in here. And everything looks okay. Um, like I say, um, sugar wise, 1.2 grams of sugar per bar and it is quite a chunky bar as well so that's not too bad so glasses off that is really small that writing so anybody that will struggle with small writing will really struggle with that which could do with being made bigger or even putting on the box that you get it however that being said Time for the taste test. We'll look under this camera. Move my glasses. All right, so this is what it looks like. Looks like uh, a cake, sort of flapjacky. Cake bar really doesn't it? And the smell. Yeah, it's got a good banana -y smell. Take some off. You can tell it's quite it's got quite an oily uh, texture to it. See, this looks like a like a crumble. It looks like an oaty crumble, except there's no oats or anything in here. So, mm. I'm going to have to finish this bit. They're nice. However, there's just one thing. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Um, 
They are nice, but however, you do need to drink with these. It sort of sticks around, sticks around your mouth. And there's a little bit of, it's a little bit oily. However, that is very nice. Good banana flavour. It's like, uh, it's hard to explain really. It has got the, like the texture of a crumbly flapjack. Um, obviously without the oats or anything. Uh, maybe the oil, the oil is probably helping bind it all together. However, the, it's got a good banana taste. It's a good size bar as well. You do need a drink to wash it down. So overall, that's very nice. And I'm looking forward to trying the other flavours. And like I said before, um, on the website, which is a UK website, it is um, there's currently an offer for 15% off on your first orders. And there are two products. Uh, the other product I will do in another video. But overall value, one pound sixty-six a bar. It's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. And some bars are a lot more than that for half the size. So I think that's a good value. Good taste, but you just need to drink with it. Um, I will leave a link below to the website. Like I said before, I'm nothing to do with the company. I'm not being paid commission. It's just a direct link to the website that you see there. And there's one more thing I will say, like I'm going to say in most of my videos, you see a lot of reviews of people that have only just gone on keto that complain there's no flavour to the keto products that they're eating and they won't try it anymore. You need to give your taste buds a month, maybe two months, to adjust to get rid of the need for sugar in your system. Because that to me is sweet, but not too sweet. However, somebody that has just gone onto the keto diet could say that was really bland, and it's not. you just got to give your taste buds time to adjust. But anyway... Um, overall very nice you need a drink with it but very nice value wise it's good nice big chunky bar and i would recommend so thank you very much join me in the video next time where i'll do another flavor and um, don't forget to like and subscribe drop a comment and i'll keep these videos coming thank you very much